Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome to my blind let's play of Mega Man The Rise of Ra Moon, a 2.5D 16-bit Metroidvania slash Mega Man Classic fan game developed by Lionweight. This is a sequel to Mega Man Army, which I streamed two weeks ago, and was originally released in late 2020. Let's see if this improves upon its predecessor. As this is a blind let's play, I apologize in advance for any silly mistakes or false assertions I'll make. Here we go. We start with Mega Man and Roll. Mega and Roll have the same jump height and can slide. However, whereas Mega Man has the base Mega Buster and Charge Shot, Roll has a Rapid Fire Buster. So our first objective is to rescue all the robots. When I played Mega Man Army, I went to the right first. So for change, I'll go to the left first. One obvious thing is that the map is notably bigger, by at least 20% I presume. Roll does look a bit different than her army incarnation. That upgraded my weapon energy. That's one of the new features. In the previous game, there are no special weapons, but now we do have them. To use them, press C. I started with a rocket launcher. Now we're back in the facility. Let's go to the left first. Just wanted to make sure. This uses the same engine as ARMY, which is fine I suppose. My main issues with that game were more about the level design. Hang on a minute. That was an enemy from X3. Now uh, let's give Mega some time in the spotlight. I need Fireman. First health upgrade. At a cursory glance, I feel Roll is better in the early game. The enemies don't really take that much extra damage from the charge shots, and their faster movement speed is much more handy. That's a jamming girl. What's going on? Does Ramon have access to time travel now? Oh, X1 is dead? Thanks for the clarification. Next teleporter unlocked. Hmm, I can't reach that yet. Let's go up instead then.
first elevator section, far earlier than the one I encountered in Army. Made it. I thought I was gonna die there. Let's continue going up. I'll see if I can collect everything in the game, but I doubt it. Shielded enemies are the only area where Mega Man outshines Roll. I feel we should have started out with Mega and Proto. Brawl even in the first game felt much more like an advanced character. I'm gonna deliberately take a debt here. I need a refill. Best to dodge the big guys for now. I haven't played any Simpsons game, Sonic. So far, we have a lot of reused gimmicks from the first game. Albeit, there are some new ones mixed in. Such as those platforms extending out from the background. You dare, you're from X3. I already foresee this game containing much more backtracking. Nonetheless, I'm happy it's another 16-bit Mega Man fan game, instead of the usual 8-bit. Forgot that they explode on zero. Ah, uh, nothing much. Just going through the second facility. Already this feels harder than ARMY's early game. Of course. That's alright, the life upgrade was worth it. This would be far more annoying if I restarted the last checkpoint.
really close to the boss. It's probably gonna be Crash Man. Crash Man, even easier than his army version. And he can still self damage himself. That can go down this time. Sure, why not? What could go wrong? They work exactly the same way as they did in army. Make sure to play as Mega or Roll for this. Almost. This game just came out last month, YouTube. Wait a year. Oh darn, I want that. The same thing happened in ARMY. I'll be back. Hmm, split route. What happens if we keep going down? We die. Eh, I prefer the sound effects from 7 over Wally Wars. Last time, Quick Man, of course. Not the optimal character. Witness. Yes! And now, quick man. Same moves as an army. He jumps a bit lower than Mega and Roll, but his movement speed is one of the fastest of any character. Sadly, he can't slide. It's basically an expansion pack of Mega Man Army, a harder one. I didn't die this much as I did in that game this early. You know what I'll do now. If I get trapped here, I'm dead. Oh, I see it. Got it. I'll need them for the end game, perhaps. Of all the sub facilities so far, this one contains the most power ups. I am running past all of you. I fear the force beams more. Oh wait, wait, ow. 
Using Quickman's dash grants me iframes, hence why I'm using it here. The next boss is... Boomerang Quanger? What are you doing here in the Classic series? And what's that giant wheel in the background? Unfortunately for him, his boomerang cutters don't deal that much damage to me. That wheel in the background has been filled and now I obtain a new special weapon. Ah, the grappling hook. Snake Man had this in army. In before I get stuck to something. Here's a spot where this is handy. I can basically use it like a super jump now. I'm not going back up there until I get Fireman. I'll save most of the backtracking for the final part of the stream, just before I enter the final gauntlet. Switch special weapons, press X. I gotta say, this grappling hook is far more useful. Ah, uh, poor quick man. His primary weapon sucks. Except against these blocks. Hang on a moment. Let me get that life upgrade. It's out in the open, after all. Next boss is... Quint? With the Thunder Shock? Of all the characters to be here, I didn't expect you to show up. So the Mega Man Killers are probably in too. Considering we have enemies from the future, Sylveon, Quint isn't really that out of place. Use Roller Crash for this. Or use the Rocket Launcher. Doing this damage list is mostly a waiting game, with some luck mixed in. Instead of going to the left this time, let's go back up here. I want to finish the rest of the Rock Quarry, aka Gutsman's area. I love the grappling hook. It's basically what the wire adapter should have been. Another elevator section. And to answer your question on the map, the Mega Man icon indicates where I am, the blue dots indicate the teleporters, and the red dots indicate where the bosses are. And the skull icon in the bottom part, that's where Ron Moon resides.
And this pierces right through enemy guards. And here I thought the ring and electro shields were pretty powerful. I need a water weapon there. Nothing here? Surely there will be an upgrade here. In any case, remember this for later. Back to the rock quarry. I forgot to check the left side. There could be something important up there. Not me falling into a pit though. Yes, Queen moves a bit slower than I thought he would. I knew it, there would be something there. Okay, that's everything here. Quint really feels overpowered for this part of the game. He's not the best at everything, however. He basically has the same movement characteristics as Mega. He could be, but as is the Metroidvania, I'm not sure. Not all bots are necessary for completing the game. I'll try obtaining most of them. Last time. Before that, let me hit the checkpoint. The amount of backtracking this game has will be edited down in post. I hope this is activated. And just like with Gus Man, I have a problem with the lifts. Or if I had double jump. Anyways, let's fight the next boss. Gyro Man. Hang on a moment. The explosion deals a decent amount of damage, but the projectile itself doesn't. Next special weapon. Oh! Your question has been answered, Diamond Wolf. I get infinite jumping. Let's go to the right next. As a demonstration of how powerful it is. It's basically the space jump. But this early into the game... It really should be located in a secret location, or right by the end game. Now, if it worked more like a double jump, I'd be much more okay with it. There goes most of the game's platforming challenge. It does use energy, but not that much. Only two per use. If it were me, It'd be at least 4 to 6 per use. That way, you can acquire it in the early game, but you need to wait until the late game before you can use it a lot.
Sure, let's get an electric man next. We already have an electric weapon anyways. I'll try not abusing the space jump too much. And I thought the grappling hook was fairly powerful. Spark man, you're right. At least the grappling hook requires some skill to use properly. Precisely, Jaden. Of course, there's worse because they have infinite use of it. through this. Fairly overpowered, mainly due to his Electroshock primary attack. See what I mean? And it pierces through enemy guards. Next boss is... Elect Man. From here on out, I'm going to restrict my use of Quint until the mid to early game, along with the multi-jump. Outside of his high damage, Elect Man seems like another good first boss candidate. Seems like Electman also resists the electric shock. Makes sense. I really just want to defeat him with Mega. Same attacks, same movement characteristics as an army. <laughs> 